Okay, everyone, don't all jump up at once, but I've just saved the day. I've unraveled the mysteries of Earth's gravity. I've unlocked the secrets of subatomic propulsion, and I've cracked the matrix of quantum equations, which leads me to announce that my new spaceship is finished and ready to go. No applause is necessary. Oh, don't get up, I'll help you. I know the excitement is overwhelming. Okay, everyone, I'm proud to present Sonic Star 3000. I know, I know, it looks like an elephant, but that's the beauty part. It's in stealth mode. The reactors are right here. State-of-the-art cockpit. Emergency exits on both sides. In the event of a crash landing, please be aware the doors to the right and the left are your first exit. And please take note there are safety jackets under your seats in case of a water ditch. Most crashes are fatal, so it probably won't make any difference. Well, is it that special? <laughs> it looks like another giant failure. Launch time is set for 11 minutes and 15 seconds. So, let's get packing. <laughs> Great. Another tenant. This one looks dangerous. It could at least get pants that fit. Is that a red dot on her head, or is the copy ready? Well, I've got a lot of packing to do. Hey, baby, how are you doing? ready to take off and leave this planet for the rest of all eternity. And we were wondering if you might be coming with us. No, uh, no, I'm not. I'm staying here. La, 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 la. May I help you? Good day, madam. My name is Mark. I am a journalist for Royalty Magazine, and I'm currently searching the countryside for any princesses. Well, what a coincidence. I am an Indian princess. My name is Sebuya. Why, of course you are, my beautiful. Well, this is my lucky day. It just so happens that I'm doing an issue on insight into the everyday life of a princess. Would you do me the honor by giving me an exclusive interview? Sure, why not? It sounds like fun. Uh, no, what are you doing down there? We have to get going. We're supposed to be launching soon. Ouch. Well, you know the life of a princess is not so unique. We get up in the morning and put one slipper on at a time, just like everyone else. You know, the same old thing. Nothing special. Mansions, yachts, breakfast in Monaco, lunch on the Riviera. What is it exactly that you want to know about my life? Well, for starters, what brings a divine creature like yourself to this side of town among us commoners? I had to get away from my life. I mean, memories of my past life. I had a love once, and we planned to get married. But he went to the corner store to get milk and rice one day, and he never came back. And I'm still waiting for the milk. Is it me, or 
or is Ethno falling in love with a human? Isn't that against the law? Love isn't against the law. Love makes you feel all a flutter, and it makes your toes curl and your nostrils burn. And then you can't think clearly, and all those insipid love songs give you gas, and your stomach hurts. Love makes your skin all clammy, and then it feels as if your heart will beat right out of your chest. Love makes you sweat uncontrollably when it's dirty below outside. And when you're separated from your love, you feel so alone and adrift. The littlest thing, like a sock on the floor or a certain smell, remind you of your love. And it brings you that, that certain comfort. Love is better than eating egg whites right out of the shell. Love is the be-all, end-all, and all, and all, and all of the great all. If love were a city, it would be birds. So after falling in love, how does the baby-making thing happen? Oh, well, yes. Making babies isn't, well, um, uh, well, babies, uh, 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 oh, um... I'll, uh, tell you later. Well, Bud, I'm not sure about humans, but aliens make babies the old-fashioned way. <laughs> First, it starts with the lunar dance. 23 days of interpretive dance. Then comes the second phase, the deep mind meld in the jacuzzi. And after that, dinner and a movie. And then the final phase, when both willing participants enter the garden of love, where the couple find a baby wrapped in a head of cabbage. Oh, really? Because I thought babies were a DNA recombination based on a phenomenon of exchange between male and female type people. My life's passion? Well, my first love has always been singing. I sing as much as I can. It truly makes me happy. But I do have one secret passion that I think about all the time. Aliens. I would love to see or even meet an alien. People laugh, but I know they are out there. Well, Princess, your dreams have come true. Because, guess what? You finally met your alien, and this alien is in love with you. Wait a second, Mr. Mark. You can't fool me, you little trickster. You're not an alien. Aliens have tentacles, not mustaches. Not all of them. Zibuya! Saturn's rings you'll flip. I'll fly you to the moon. The craters will make you swoon. So pack your bags and say goodbye. The next flight leaves real soon. This love struck idiot is gonna blow our cover. We have to go down there and get Etna away from this creature before she discovers who we are. Faster than a Yes? Hey, I'm looking for my cheap old man. I know he's in here. Listen, sister, if you know what's good for you, you'll give him a break now. Yeah, Candy will pinch you real hard. 
won't you please come in? Let's jump her when her back is turned. All right, time for plan B. Your weight is over, can't you see? I love you forever and a day. And when that ship comes in, now be the two for the great spaceship. Ba, ba, ba. It's together we'll find out if it's moving its way, but it's also true love. love. But this is my... No, have you lost your mind? Can't you see those alien gouges on the end of her fingers? I know. Aren't they fantastic? I'm in love with the most beautiful example of a bipedal mammalian. Oh, I can't wait to show her the shores of the ammonia oceans of our home planet. We're doomed. Jar of formaldehyde, here we come. Zidbuya, I've got a big surprise for you. Princess. Zidbuya! Zidbuya? Zidbuya? Ah! Zidbuya! Look, your alien boy is here! Oh, next up, Area 51. Oh, before we get captured and vivisectioned, I think we should get the heck out of here! Look, scaly skin. It's true, I'm a real live alien! Zidbuya, my love. I am back. Vikash, you came back. <gasps> Did you get the rice and milk? My elephant broke down, but I managed to make it back to you, my love. I missed you. I missed you too. Wait, uh, there's two spaceships? My elephant is double parked. Let's get going, my princess. And now that we have the rice to throw, we can have our wedding. <laughs> to get married. Next stop, Honeymoon Planet. <laughs> Princess, I love you! <laughs> no, how do you drive this thing? <laughs> oh, don't worry. Uh, no, it was only the love of your life. Don't worry, kid. They're like buses. One comes by every 17 minutes. Well, you're right. What was I thinking anyway? I feel better already. Thanks, guys. Yeah, what were you thinking? Can you imagine yourself with that ravishing beauty for the rest of your life? <laughs> Bud, can you imagine yourself with my fist in your mouth? Hey, guys! Guys! Etno just finished his new and improved spaceship! Oh, great! This would be his 582nd spaceship. Listen, why don't you shove off and let us know how it blows up? Well, that's not a very positive attitude, Mr. Nabob of Negativity. Oh, no! Lieutenants! Oh, this place is truly an out-of-the-way hideaway. But it still has all the modern conveniences, like the bank right across the street. So have a pleasant stay here. Ah, uh, no. I'll get that. All right, all right. Just trying to give you a hand. He's coming. Well, he looks harmless enough. <laughs> That's what you said about the guy with the dental tools. You're just jealous. Yeah, you're right. I wish he had fixed my overbite. Okay, everyone. I think we have a problem. This new tenant appears to be some kind of burglar. Judging by the schematic, he plans to dig a tunnel from our house to the bank across the street, which would not only be immoral, unethical, against the law, but would also be a heck of a lot of work. You mean a gangster type has moved in? Just like Inspector Derek? 
Blasting powder. He has blasting powder. <laughs> Don't you see what this means? Blasting powder. The ideal ingredient to make the ultimate rocket fuel cell. With that blasting powder, all of our spaceship problems will be solved. Here's our one chance. Now, all we have to do is figure out how to get it and who's going to do it. I want to go. I'll do it. Oh, great. There goes our one chance. Hey, I've seen all the Inspector Derek episodes at least three times. So if anyone around here knows how to do this, it would be someone like me. All right, bud. You've got the job. <gasps> Don't fail us. <laughs> <laughs> what? You heard him. He's seen all the episodes. He knows what to do. La, 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 la. Oh, I was just taking a nap. Can I help you? What do you want? Hi! I heard you were doing a bank job, and you were looking for a crew. What? Bank job? That's nonsense. What are you, crazy? Wait a second. I've seen a lot of Inspector Derek shows, and... <laughs> uh, that kid scared me for a minute. Kids watch too much TV these days. Excuse me, Mr. Burglar. Could you take me on as your apprentice and show me the ropes to a life of sin and ill repute? I'll buff your head for you. <laughs> you might look into some kind of head antiperspirant. All right, all right. So I might be involved with some kind of nefarious activities, and maybe that involves some kind of tunneling, and just maybe it might have something to do with a bank. But the only thing you need to know is that you don't want to get messed up with guys in this line of business like me, because you don't want to see a guy like me get angry. See? I knew you were a real gangster, just like the ones on Inspector Derek. Please hire me for your crew. I want to be on your posse. Please, 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 please! All right, all right. You gotta stop watching TV, kid. It's hazardous to my health. Okay, the name's Andre. Pleased to meet you. Now, here's the deal. You dig until I say stop, and after this is all over, you can forget everything you've ever seen, or I'll bury you in the hole you're digging. It's a deal, Andre. That's Mr. Andre. Bravo. Bud's a made man. Now, when he creates the diversion, we'll make off with the blasting powder. I'll be over here drinking coffee if you need me. I'll be over here digging a hole if you need help with that coffee. Well, there are easier ways to rob a bank. Yeah! We could go in guns a-blazing and grab the loot. Yeah, that's what amateur-type street punks would try to do, but it takes a real artist to rob a fortress like this bank. This place has no doors, and all the money is transferred through the roof with helicopters. So what do we do? Well, we come up through the bottom, which so happens to be the bank's weak side. We dig up and blow a hole right through the floor, and crawl up and snatch the goods. Dig to the left, kid. More to the left. Uh-oh. Looks like you hit the water main. No problem. I'll just use a little gum. That should hold it long enough till we get to the plumber's supply shop. Remind me not to let you handle the dynamite. Well, it looks like Bud is leading the criminal away from the house. Good work, Bud. Gorgeous. Time to go to work. <laughs> Holy humongous hernias! What in the world was that?
Oh, no. I shouldn't have used sugar-free gum. It's four in the morning and they're still at it. Candy, I think it's up to you to find out what happened to Gorgeous and find the blasting powder. You know, I feel a little tired. I need coffee. Bud, do you feel like a cup of coffee? Yeah, that would be great. Good. Can you get me one, too? Well, that's good. At least there's no water in this pipe. Oh, put that wall there! Ooh, ooh, it smells like Bud farted in here. But it sounds like gas. I guess the door must have slammed shut. I'm telling you, it was a trap. Bud and that criminal are in cahoots together. Uh, I was sabotaged, too. Nice hat. Well, they leave us no choice. We all have to go down there and get that powder. This better be good. Do you realize it's the middle of the night? Listen, Pajama Boy. We know what you're up to down there in the basement, and you'd better cut us in on it. I think he's cracking. Well, are we in? Well, we've been busy little bees, haven't we? Would you like some cream with that? So, uh, what kind of a cut do you guys want? Well, all we want is that suitcase full of black powder. No way! This is my suitcase. You can't have it. Well, we'll see about that. Wait. If we help you do the job, will you give us the leftover powder? Dale, put her there. Gorgeous. The hand means he agrees. Now tell me again. Why are we doing all the work? Okay, don't jump up, guys. I can handle this load of bricks myself. Uh, you dropped one there. <laughs> Finished. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Okay, this is for the first blast, and we'll need the rest for the second blast. What do you mean, the rest? It's gonna take all the explosives we have to blow through this thing. So what about our deal? All set. <laughs> A deal's a deal! You're not going anywhere! You can't steal Mr. Andre's suitcase! Don't be silly, bud. We needed to get back home. You thieves aren't going anywhere! <laughs> get him! Okay, prepare for the first blast. No, uh, we don't need the second charge yet. Wow, that's beautiful. It is not my fault, Gorgeous. Just wait till I get you in the shower. What? He escaped? <laughs> hey, kid, you want to help me dig out of here? Here, use this. Bud, wait, what about us? Don't worry, I'll see you on Visitor's Day. Bud, come back here. Come back here right now. Guards, guards, there's a prison break. Hello? Anyone there? <laughs> Eat it! 
asteroid dust, coppers! One out of twelve to dispatch. We lost visual contact with the perpetrator. Calling off all pursuit. Did I miss anything? Hola! <laughs> mm -hmm. Right. Mm, yes. Okay. It all checks out. Ouch! What did I tell you about building spaceships in the living room? And who do you think is going to clean this up, I suppose? Me! The two! From now on, everyone has to wear these cloth shoe pads. No. I am not responsible for this. Oh, I'm so sorry. I got you confused with the guy who builds giant spaceships that don't fly. <laughs> I'm telling you, I had nothing to do with this space wreck, Candy. Well, I can't believe it. Well, looky here. You're all grown up. Who is this guy talking to? Candy! Excuse me, but do we know you? Why, well, I'm Big Walter, Candy's long-lost cousin. Candy's cousin? Yeah, that's right, Cousin Walter, who just traveled all over the whole galaxy looking for his little cousin Candy. You were looking for me? Aw, oh, come on. You look like you don't remember your old cousin Walter. Oh, we used to be like brothers. Oh, we used to take baths together when we were kids. Don't you remember that time at summer camp when I saved you from drowning after you wet the bed? Uh, no, not really. I can't believe you don't remember your old buddy Boo Boo. Oh, well, oh, oh, yes, yes. Oh, of course. I remember your cousin Walter, Boo Boo. Funny, I don't see any family resemblance. How about now? Yeah, I see it. The ref's a bum. He's blind. Hey, yeah, get the bum some glasses. Uh, what's that thing? Why, that's a TV. Hey, find a seat and put your bun in it. <laughs> Cousin Walter, are you hungry? Would you like something to drink? Yeah, okay. Uh... My sandwich! Hmm. Laser marks. Looking for something? Oh, Walter! What beautiful jewelry! Ah, ah, ah. Oh, 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 I think these ones are me! They bring out the pink in my eyes. <laughs> Hey, 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 don't be touching the goods there. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay, everyone, we need to have a little talk. All right, listen up. I'm gonna be staying with you guys for a few days, and I don't like people messing with my stuff, and I especially don't like people asking me questions. I'm so glad we all understand each other now. Wow. Yes, and don't forget the cloth floor pads. <laughs> oh, it sure is nice having you here, cousin. It's not often family comes to visit. Are you finished with that yet? Hey, where's my steak? Uh, it ain't cut. Gorgeous, where's your manners? He is our guest. There you go, Walter. Open wide. Hey, you finished washing and ironing my underwear? Oh, yes, I'll get right at it. I think your cousin comes from the shallow end of your gene pool. Don't you talk about my family like that. Candy, I'm finished. Coming! Candy! 
candy. <laughs> what? Shh. I fixed Walter's spaceship. We're going to, uh, try it out, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Are you crazy? I wouldn't think of stealing my cousin's spaceship, not to mention leaving him behind. Listen. We are going to take this ship and go home. And if you have any idea what's good for you, you'll come too. And when we get back home, you can then take the ship and come back and get your cousin if you want. Capiche? Uh. Where's the door handle? Buckle up, kids. Next stop, home. <laughs> Wanted Uncle Clyde, a.k.a. Cousin Walter, Wally Wigger, Big Bubba, amongst others, for armed robbery, kidnapping, pickpocket, loitering, back alimony, kicking a dog, impersonating someone who is honest, and generally being a not-nice guy. Great. We're harboring a wanted felon. What do you have to say about your Mr. Big Bubba now? Oh, he's just misunderstood. I am really disappointed in you, Candy. You know, I thought we was family. I guess you've been here on Earth too long. I need to go out and get a few things. Walter, this is the SMTV. It's our way of going incognito when we need to go out in public. Really? Well, yes, yeah, sure. Let me show you how it works. <laughs> Now I just look like an ordinary Earthian. Hey, it's Clyde. Listen, I got a great scam cooking here. <laughs> this here's Roberto and Roberto, the best wingmen in the business. Welcome, cousins. Pleased to meet you. Hey, what's this about? Never mind, I'll explain later. <laughs> We're gonna fleece this planet. Yes. <laughs> Might I suggest that, in my estimation, these crew type guys are up to no good? Oh, you're just jealous that your family never visits. 97, 98. Perfect! That makes six million. Not bad for a day's work, huh? <laughs> What'd I tell you? Easy pickings, huh? Hey! Where's my dinner? Oh, look at these beautiful baubles! Oh, are they earrings or bookends? Hey! Hands off the loop! Get out of here! Cousin Walter, never talk to me like that before. All right, you guys on lookout while I use his spaceship phone. Hello, Intergalactic Space Patrol. Uncle Clyde and the Roberto brothers are hiding out in our house. Come quick. All of our officers are currently taking a donut break. Put that phone down, shorty. <laughs> Next time you guys are on lookout, look to the right side. So we've got ourselves a little problem here. I think our hosts have outlived their usefulness. Well, I hope this means you're cutting him out of your will now. Oh, cause this mean guy thing is pretty funny. <laughs> what? Are you some kind of moron? Don't you get it? I ain't your cousin, idiot. <laughs> How could you be so mean to me? <laughs> this is the Intergalactic Police. 
Roberto! Clyde! Roberto! You're under arrest! You won't take me alive, coppers! Don't leave me, Cousin Wally! <laughs> Remember, don't pick up the soap! We got your message. We've been looking for these guys for a while. Good work. Well, thank you. Uh, you know, we were wondering if you might have room for some extra passengers? No, no, sorry. Authorized personnel only, and we have to impound that stolen spaceship. You know... It was kind of nice having family around here for a while. But, well, <laughs> even if he wasn't real family. Oh! <laughs> oh! 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 Yes! Oh! Wait a second. I do have a real family. Excuse me, gorgeous. I believe this is yours. Oh, thanks. I was looking for that. <gasps> now that's what I call reality programming. Oh, you are barbaric. You have the most disgusting eating habits. What? I wash my hands first. This is better than any old soap opera. Now the moment of truth. <gasps> it works! Hey, everyone! It works! Okay, one enthusiastic question at a time. Well, it's a dematerializer, rematerializer, particle transference, teleportation machine. In layman's terms, a sideways time elevator. No more rockets, flying saucers, or spaceships. With this new machine, we can compress time, space, and matter, which will allow all of us to be back home in mere seconds. So, who's your buddy now? <laughs> You're not getting me in that giant microwave. I think what Gorgeous is trying to say is, not one of your 1,218 spaceships have ever worked, so why in Jumping Jupiter would we trust that evil-looking device? Okay, I understand your trepidation. As it is with all first-time cutting-edge technology, there are always skeptics. So, I will show you that this state-of-the-art advancement in science technology is as safe to operate as a toaster. <laughs> Twelve seconds till activation. Good luck, Chuck. <laughs> Drop us a postcard. Maybe this wasn't such a Oh, it's cold. I must be in the interstitial void. Hey there, a red light off in the distance. It's a good thing I brought my flashlight. Okay, I made it as far as the refrigerator. <laughs> Great, now I have a cold. <laughs> I don't understand why it didn't work. Well, at least I didn't end up in the toilet. Well, everyone, it was a successful, albeit short, maiden voyage. Everything tested well as planned, and the next flight will be all the way home. What? Don't worry. You guys can come next time. Well, that's funny. I could have sworn I was over here. Two wet nose. <gasps> There's only one Etno. There's only one Etno. There's only one Etno. I think this cucumber is cooling him down. So, the teleportation part evidently has some technical issues. <laughs> well, these things always have some glitches that have to be worked out. That's why I tried to get them to go first.
You know, it sounds like I hear two ethnos. Hi, Candy. Oh, 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 oh there are two ethnos. Oh, do something. Calm down, Candy. The bad dream is over. The cool cucumber will give you the good dreams. There's only one ethno. And you two better stop cloning around. The nice thing about this cucumber is it don't leave bruises. It appears someone is having a low blood sugar day. That fellow seems to be rather ill-tempered. Do you play chess by any chance? Why, yes, I do. Two Antnos. I think I'm getting two headaches. <laughs> Gorgeous, would you clean out the nuclear reactor? Yeah, sure thing, buddy. That small purple dwarf really thinks I'm his slave. Oh, hello, master. It's astounding. All these years in neighboring dimensions and we never met. Yes, isn't it amazing? I almost feel like we're related. Like kindred spirits. Like brothers. Even twins, maybe. Too bad we're not of the opposite sex. We could get married. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I think I'm feeling better. I need to get a breath of fresh air. <laughs> No. Good day, Candy. Oh, excuse me there, old chap. Come on, Candy, get out of there. It was just a bad dream. There's only one Etno. I feel safe. I think I'll live in here. You know, if we don't do something about this Etno problem, we might have an epidemic. Check this out. They've been playing chess for 12 hours straight. It's riveting, isn't it? You really don't have a life, do you? I must say, you do have the cutest nose. All right, enough! This house ain't big enough for the two of you. One of you has got to leave. I think not. There are finally two persons of quality in this house. Look, I don't care, but if one of you doesn't leave now, then you're both going to be leaving. We're inseparable. Okay, then I'll decide fair and square. You're leaving. Don't worry about me, Etno. I'll be fine. Right if you get work. Uh-oh. Well, at least I'm not in the fridge again. Don't worry about me, Etno. I'll be fine. Right if you get work. Etno! Don't let Etno go. There's something wrong with the sideways elevator. I think the reverse imbobulator is stuck in forward gear. I'm not so sure. It could be the forward thruster stuck in reverse mode. Anger would not be the scientific approach, Gorgeous. Indeed. Yeah, but it makes me feel good. <laughs> there! No more extra ethnos. No problem. Gorgeous, what have you done? This is a finely tuned piece of scientific equipment. There's a problem with the sideways elevator. There's only one at no. 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 Oh, my gorgeous. There's only one at no. There is only one There's only one at no. 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 Hello, Candy. Ah! <laughs> One thousand at nose, one million at nose. At nose everywhere. So, uh, what do we 
we do now, Einstein? I know. I need some fish. Omega-3, good for the brain. Now, let's try to retrace the series of events that occurred the first time round when I activated the sideways time machine. Let's see. Candy was painting, Gorgeous was cutting his toenails, and Bud was watching TV. Well, some things stay constant. There had to be something that put the machine out of whack. What could it be? I know. I saw the whole thing. I have everything recorded on my TV hard drive. This should give us the answer. Check it out. 12 seconds till activation. Good luck, Chuck. <laughs> Drop us a postcard. All of this because of a stupid little toenail clipping? Hey, my toenails aren't not stupid. Okay, now with the sideways time machine fixed, and if my calculations are correct, I will go back in time as myself and interrupt the timeline continuum and prevent the formation of Etno 2, which in turn will bring about the discontinuation of the overlap, which... All right, I'm ready. Let's get on with this. Twelve seconds till activation. Good luck, Chuck. <laughs> Drop us a postcard. <laughs> Ah, you chickened out, eh? Well, I thought better of leaving you guys behind and changed my mind. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Having fun. The weather is warm and the drinks are cold. Hope to see you soon. Edno. Who was that from? Oh, just some advertisement for a timeshare condo. 